Hey everybody, I was doing an oil change and the filter was stuck. If you've ever had a stuck filter, hard to get off, and this is what you can try. Um, I didn't have a lot of space around the filter itself to put a lot of, you know, to put my whole arm or whatever. Doesn't give you a lot of clearance. So there are a couple of things you can do. Okay, now that's the old filter there in the pan. And you see how it was crimped and crushed on the end. Well, I tried a different, a couple of different methods to, uh, to fix that. There's um, a couple of tools you can use. Now look at this thing. You see how it's crimped and crushed? Now you have to be careful and don't spaz out when you run into this issue because you could damage the filter. You definitely don't want to damage the car. So take a look at these things here. Any of these things you can use. They sell these little cups here, but they vary in size depending on the size of the filter that you have. So you can shop around for that. Or you may already have one on hand. And sometimes these don't work because you don't have enough room to move the uh, the ratchet. Now this here, everyone's seen these. Now, this is how it works. Say that's the filter. It just goes around the filter and you turn it. And as you turn it, as you're trying to loosen it, it compresses and it squeezes the oil filter. So that's how that works. The issue with those is sometimes if you don't have enough clearance around the filter, you won't be able to turn the filter. And that's what I ran into. And on top of that, the filter was on so tight, I couldn't take it off by hand. I barely had space for my hands. Now, this is another one like that, but it's larger. So you have to get the size that's going to fit your oil filter. So try some of these if you can't get the filter off or if it's super seized, super stuck. Um, but what I wind up using nowadays is I'll just skip all of that and just go for a big old set of channel locks. Now, the channel locks obviously are adjustable and because of the length of the handles and the size of the grip and everything you can get a good grip on it and get leverage and a lot of times if you have a seized um you have a filter that's that's really not moving or turning i use the channel locks because you're going to crimp and crush maybe the bottom of the oil filter but that's not going to affect you know the threads or taking it off so you see how this channel lock can just grip this oil filter right at the bottom so if you, even if you don't have a lot of clearance you can still maneuver it and if you still can't you can actually pinch the bottom of the filter with the uh with the channel locks and that you can do that and that reduces the amount of space you need to manu to maneuver so you can do it that way at an angle get a good grip and that's why this thing turned up turned out to be so crushed and smashed but it works try some channel locks if all else fails don't spaz out get you some channel locks and like i said you can just crimp it a little bit give you a grip and go ahead and twist that thing off that's the new one you see how little space i had to work with just make sure you uh hand tighten the new one just hand tighten do not use a tool or channel locks or anything like that to apply the new filter because you may not get it off thanks for watching have a blessed day.